It's quite an interesting question. What type of medical images do you use on your website? And how do you illustrate the patient education topics that you discuss on your website? Now, it might be tempting to go into the stock libraries and just pick some of these uh, typical surgery images that you can find there, or to have just your, your own team being photographed and displayed in a theater setup. That is one option and many surgeons will pick that one because it's quite often the easy suggestion. Well, there's a few other things to consider. The um, content that you produce on your website that you publish on your website has a um, very important role in helping the patient make a choice. And you obviously want that choice to be in your favor. You want the patient to choose you as their surgeon. So it's important to bear in mind that at various stages of what I call the patient journey, there's a lot of Googling happening, patients doing their research, and that's where you want to hook them with not just the content that is relevant to what they're looking for, but also the images that appeal to them. And you don't just want to uh, use these medical stock shots and just bluntly tell them this is where you will end up soon in surgery and this is what's going to happen. That obviously, as you can understand, is not always a good idea. So this is where these um, other types of images come in, where yes, you can still refer to the problem and visualize what's going on if we're talking about shoulder pain and shoulder conditions, but uh, make it human, make it welcoming, make it as palatable as possible because these are patients who may still not be convinced that um, surgery is going to be their next option. Uh, and then again, in, in the realm of fertility treatment, it's okay to show some of the scientific imagery that's relevant to the situation. But quite often, you'll see that if we use human images well integrated into the content, so it feels like a magazine article, um, human images that relate to the problem, but are not just blunt medical images. What we see is that people, patients, consumers will stay on those pages for longer simply because it feels more comfortable, it feels more personable, and it feels more human. So medical images, be careful. If you're not sure what to use, just book a free one-on-one -on -one strategy session. We'll discuss the visual side of your medical marketing strategy in full detail.